started back in 2016, I was doing my internship at UKZN um, and I was doing my masters at the same time. I saw that um, this thing of waking up every morning, uh, doing the same thing over and over again, even if it doesn't work, it was uh, quite depressing for me. And uh, that's where I, I didn't want to come across as a person who disrespects the boss and I do my own thing. But at the same time, I didn't want to suppress my own ideas. So I then decided that um, actually entrepreneurship works for me. I grew up in a rural area and we used to use the green bar soap for everything. So my, my, my grandmother will buy the long green bar soaps and then she will cut it into pieces. And then she'll be like, this one is for washing dish dishes, this one is for washing clothes, this one is for bathing, uh, this one is for cleaning the floor. So um, I, I wanted to give them like um, a, a solution to this problem because I actually went into the community and asked them, why are they doing uh, uh, things this way and then they told me that they cannot afford to have a specific uh, product for washing dishes and a specific product for cleaning the floor and then I provided a solution through my business. In the factory we're currently manufacturing detergents and uh, we've got 25 products in total and we currently have a, a factory that can manufacture 10,000 liters of detergent per day. The message that, that I have for aspiring entrepreneurs is that you have to start with what you have, whether it's money or any kind of resources. There are many students who have not started their business because they didn't have funding. And I believe that for you to actually start a business, you can just start with just selling a solution. Don't kill your dreams because you are waiting for funding. And it's nice to, to, to dream um, very big, but you can't go to like UK Student Incubate and ask them for one million to start a farm when you yourself have not used your money to start a garden at home. So you need to be able to show that I do have a garden, I need to expand. And then you give somebody a reason to invest in your company. So if you are not willing to risk your own money into your business, no matter how small it is, how do you expect somebody else to believe in your dream if you are showing that you do not believe in your dream? Amanda's story is an excellent uh, case study for both academics, students, and practitioners. What makes it to be remarkable is that she's a graduate of chemistry and her business, is, it produces detergents. She has demonstrated that, you know, students could actually use what they have studied to start businesses. You do not study to go and get a job. However, what you do is with what you have studied, you can actually uh, start business and create a job for yourself. DCAM is one of the first businesses that the University of KwaZulu-Natal supported in 2018, just shortly after it launched its entrepreneurship skills program called Inspire at the university. So it's extremely heartening to see the progress that the business has made over the last couple of years especially with the recent launch of its factory in Peter Maritzburg. It goes to show the contribution that student businesses can have to the economy and the unemployment crisis. So it's extremely important that universities are vested in student entrepreneurship.